Hello everyone. Today we'll explain how to install QHYC CD, all-in-one driver package, and astrophotography software on Windows. First go to our English website. Find the download in the menu bar and click. Find the all-in-one. All-in-one driver package is currently available for most of the QHYC CD products on sale except for the Polar Master. Just click on the version number to download. The stable version is older than the beta version, but more stable. New users not using the latest product are recommended to choose this version. Beta version is the latest version. Usually, it supports the latest products earlier than the stable version. There will be some newly optimized features, and also all functions on the stable version. But more experimental in nature. Users with the latest products or with certain experience are recommended to choose beta version. Models only supported in beta version are additionally marked in the description below. Before installing the all-in-one package, we also need to download and install third-party shooting software or platform. Please take a note here, since most of the contents of the all-in-one package are all plug-in supporting third-party software. So please make sure to download and install the software you need firstly before installing the all-in-one package. Otherwise the program will report an error. Don't get the order of the two wrong. There are a lot of software in the recommended third-party software. You can download according to your needs. Among these recommended software, SharpCap is already packaged in the all-in-one package, so you don't need to download them separately. If you have already decided third-party software you need, just click on the link to download it. Here we take as calm as an example. Click on the link to enter the official website of as calm. Click download on the right side. Okay. After the download is finished, we start to install. If you have enough space on your computer, we recommend you to use the default installation location of the software. So that our all-in-one program will then automatically install the SDK to the software directory. If the installation location is changed, you may then need to manually locate the root directory of the software. Please take a note, the system may report an error on some computer models. In this case, you just need to search for the corresponding file name on your web browser to download. After installing the file, as calm can be installed normally. After installing the software, let's install the all-in-one package. Note that during the driver installation process, don't let the camera connect to the computer. For the installation location, we strongly recommend using the default installation location. Now choose what to install. Drivers are required for the camera to run. You must install them. WDM is a broadcast driver providing live signal to OBS and other live streaming software with SharpCap. You need to install it if you have live streaming needs. EasyCap 64-bit version is usually recommended. As Calm Driver this depends on the ASCOM platform version you have just installed. The latest version of ASCOM is 6.5, so the 6.5 version is checked here by default. The following two drivers correspond to the USB control filter wheel and camera serial control filter wheel. It is recommended that the two drivers are checked and installed for users who have a filter wheel. The last one is the serial driver, and some computers come with this driver. The computer may report an error when controlling the filter wheel if you don't have this driver. 
so it is recommended to check and install according to your own needs. Next, a series of SDKs. SDK and driver are two different kinds of files, but the installation methods are similar for users. So we don't make too much distinction here. You only need to check the SDK of the corresponding software according to the type of software you have installed. Be sure to check whether the software you are installing is 32-bit or 64-bit. Select the SDK according to the corresponding version. Note that you need to check the SharpCap SDK. Here if you have already installed SharpCap before installing all-in-one. If you haven't installed SharpCap, you do not need to check here. If you haven't installed SharpCap before, you can choose 32-bit or 64-bit for an installation here. It is officially licensed by SharpCap, you can use it with confidence. The last one is QT. It is a plug-in to ensure that 64-bit software can run properly on some computers with poor compatibility. You can selectively install it. Then we click Next to install. Keep the installation location default. After all the content is installed, two folders will pop up. A SCUM driver backup file and SDK backup file directory. You'd better remember where they are located for your future use. Now we can connect a camera to the computer. Here, please note that QHY53 series will be displayed here if QHY cameras are connected successfully. Now connect the camera in the software just installed to see if the camera connection is normal. Okay, so the driver and software have been installed successfully.